Both the White House and the Supreme Court are taking up immigration along the Texas-Mexico border today. The high court is discussing a Trump-era policy, and at the same time, the White House has a new plan as more people are expected to start crossing the border. Let's dive into it deeply. Political reporter Jack Fink following both storylines for you today. Jack? Well, Doug, the Biden administration's plan involves the end to Title 42, the public health order allowing the federal government to return those who cross the border illegally to their home countries. Also today, the U.S. Supreme Court heard arguments about the Remain in Mexico policy. At the Supreme Court, the U.S. Solicitor General argued President Biden and his administration don't have to follow what's officially called the Migrant Protection Protocols, MPP, or remain in Mexico. Then President Trump implemented the policy three years ago, which requires those who cross the border illegally to stay in Mexico while their asylum claims are considered. When the Biden administration ended the policy last year, Texas sued and won in the district and appellate courts. The Justice Department asked justices to reverse course. His contiguous territory return cannot be the solution here. Over the life of the program in the prior administration, only 6.5 percent of individuals we encountered at the border were enrolled in MPP. It has uh, inherent constraints. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton was in court as the state solicitor general made his case. And we're arguing that the Biden administration, just like the rest of us, have to follow federal law. They either have to detain them or send them back to their country of origin. Lydia Guzman of LULAC is calling for action by both the Biden administration and Congress. We need to find a way to properly um, process folks. Um, but, you know, so far, nothing has been done. And having the folks remain in Mexico did nothing but make the problem even bigger. The Biden administration also unveiled a six-point plan today to deal with an expected increase in the number of people who will come to the southern border once Title 42 is lifted. Last night, a federal judge temporarily blocked the administration from lifting the order at the end of next month. Guzman says the U.S. needs to be prepared. If Title 42 is lifted, those border communities will be so overwhelmed the immigration agencies will be so overwhelmed. And the White House announced today that its plan will add more than 600 law enforcement personnel at the border, increase the number of people who can be held in Border Patrol custody, and expedite the removal of those who cross the border illegally, among other things. Doug? Jack Fink, thank you so much. The legal